Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today we're going to be covering the set map tool inside of After Effects. Now I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate this tool. That's until I learned how to use it. So without further ado, let's dig in. So I'm going to teach you how to mask multiple objects with a set matte effect. Now, some of you might have tried a set matte in the past and found it hadn't worked. So I'll show you how to resolve this. Now, the most important thing to first find out on your layers is are the continuous rasterization buttons active on them? And you'll notice some of these layers, they're not, and I'll show you how to resolve this. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna create a mask on that solid. And I'm gonna use this to mask out these images. So let's just have it animating off. Cool. And I'll just turn that off for now. Now, the tool is called Set Matte. And I'm going to animate first this off. So let's drag one on there. And you notice you've got to select your mat. In fact, let's just call that mat. So it's called mat in the layer. And you notice it's still not working. So the first thing you have to do is press continuous rasterization. And have you noticed this still hasn't worked? So remember, we also made that a mask over that solid object. So you're gonna to have to choose mask and also continuous rasterization on your mat itself. And there we go, animates off. And the great thing is with this vector image coming straight from Illustrator, uh, this should work straight off the bat. So let me copy and paste that set mat with all the settings that are already on it and it animates on perfect. Now we tried with a Photoshop layer and the Photoshop layer doesn't seem to mask properly. So we can resolve that too, same way. We're gonna say Control Shift C, we're gonna pre-comp it, and then we're gonna press continuous rasterization and then it works. And then we have Photoshop text. Uh, Photoshop text will have the same issue as a Photoshop layer. And this time around, we're gonna right click and say, great, convert to editable text. And now all of the layers mask off perfectly fine. Now I've set up another layer over here where I want this logo to mask on as the other things mask off. So I'm gonna paste that set matte with all the effects that I've already put on, like the mask and the matte layer. And it's not gonna work the way we want it to. So there's another little checkbox here called invert matte. So now watch everything animates off and that animates on. And now there is everything you need to know how to make a set mat work successfully. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please like, share and subscribe because I'd really appreciate it and it will encourage me to continue to make them for you. If you do want to know something, please by all means make a comment and maybe I'll make a video for you. Thank you so much for watching guys. Cheers.